Chemo. 10 is Callum Stead, 12 is Luke Freeman, 14 is Harry Pritchard and your captain are underway. As you can see, 18 is Anthony Hartigan, 19 is Gatlin O'Donka, 20 Connor Stevens. Keep an eye on it for me, by the way, uh, Dale, in case I miss anything whilst I'm reading out these team sheets. How well do you know your own career? Uh, so just for fun, of course, uh, Dale. And, and as per usual, if you do listen to my commentary, I always have a quiz, but here we go, Chesterfield. It's Michael Jacobs working his way into the box. Can he get a shot away? He does. Oh, it's just wide. Played on loan for Chesterfield in 2020 and 21. A ball comes into the box. It's out. It's on the right foot. Is that Zach Brunt with that on his right? He would have been able to go forward to Odonka anyway, because I'm pretty certain Odonka would have been offside. But lovely ball. Well spotted by Coker. Here's Stead. Coker again is going to have time to get the ball in. On his left, it comes up high. He goes all the way through across. Oh. Off the crossbar. Can Stead load up? Oh, it's over again. I think we've been a better team than... Um, we're, we're taking the game to Chesterfield here. And here come Barnet though, certainly to talk about taking the game, you certainly are, the ball's in the box and it's Banks and here's Callum Steady loads up. Can O'Donka get there? Here he is. Was there a push? Referee says no. Nil, but this is no boring nil-nil at all. This is an absolute cracker. It's a table topper. First taking on second. Chesterfield are pretty confident whatever happens, win, lose or draw tonight will be playing league football next season but it's a real test for Barnet because if they're going to go out they have to do it through the playoffs and there we go completely cut apart and it's Jacobs with the goal it's a tap in into an open net and Chuckleford stayed on here is Jacobs again whipping the ball right across the face of goal and it almost got through it's Naylor with the strike it's missing right Coker with it in hand here's Cropper He's got a little bit of space on his right foot, takes a shot, it's always going high over the bar. We're looking at it, straight down the barrel. With the corner for Chesterfield. Dobro is coming short, but he's going to trot back into the box and does. It's won by Grimes, knocked down. Is this the opportunity? The ball comes in, it's a good one, and it's gone over. The club, Chesterfield. Yes, there is about to be a sub. Oh! Oh, that was Harry Pritchard. They're slowing everything down, right down, with every chance they get. Um, I think it's important we just keep going until the end, and hopefully we get that chance and um, take it. Well, here's Tom Naylor darting into the box. Oh, and it's deflected in. Or was it off Will Grigg? I think it was Grigg with a final touch. He's gone over to celebrate in front of the Chesterfield fans. So you don't need me to sing it. And here we go, Chesterfield got another chance to add a third. Here's Dobra feeding it through. Here's Will Grigg. Oh, and a wonderful, wonderful by Keeley. Just got a touch on it. So here's Hartigan. Free kick now for the Bees. Is there a, a sting in the tail? Oh, it's gone all the way through. Barnett just needs to be a little bit more clinical in the final third. The ball comes in this time. And again, it finds a blue body. But Zach Brunt nods it down. Here's Pritchard. Back to Brunt. The ball's whipped in. It's a lovely ball in. Again, it goes all the way through. 